Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your desktop memory RAM uh, to make your computer faster uh, in case you're loading a lot of uh, applications and a lot of tabs. Uh, so here's how to upgrade it. So if you, you need to find out uh, what kind of motherboard you have and uh, what kind of uh, RAM it supports. So this is a uh, it this my motherboard is a AS Rock X 470 like you see and uh, on the manual if you look it up online or if you have manual you can tell uh, it says that it's a 288 pin uh, right here and that's the RAM location here and I already have 16 gig here 8 gigs each so I'm gonna upgrade to uh, more RAMs because I need to uh, do Premiere Pro uh, video editing so I need more RAM uh, especially if you do 4k video editing so DDR4, uh, make sure that, you know, uh, your motherboard supports this megahertz. So 2,666 megahertz. Uh, this one is at 3,000. It can go up to 3,000, but it can go lower uh, than one I have. That's the uh, G-Skill uh, Trident RGB uh, that has a color. This is one is on sale, uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX, and that one is a 16 gig uh, memory DDR4 per RAM and so it says uh, Vengeance LPX memory designed for high performance overclocking the head spreader use aluminum for faster heat dissipation and the low profile design fits into most micro ATX and mini ITX systems so this one is ATX it's big ITX is a smaller case and uh, so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how to make your computer faster. So it says right here, supports Intel Core i7 uh, inside here, both. So low profile memory and make sure that it's uh, your motherboard and motherboard is supporting that, uh, that RAM. So let's just uh, do the unboxing for this. I'm gonna get a uh, knife here. so right now uh, okay we're gonna do unboxing of this I'm gonna show you how it looks like so this comes in two sticks here and uh, it's wrapped in uh, hard plastic as you can see uh, so this one has this kind of hitting no RGB on it but it says DDR4 Vengeance LPX and uh, as you can see close up here it says uh, 32 gig 2 times 16 gig so uh, latency 16, 18, 18, 35, 1.20 volt, uh, made in Taiwan. So this has good rating, uh, bought it from uh, Amazon, but you can get it from anywhere else. That It was, uh, I think, uh, on sale. So you just open it. Then uh, what you do is you don't touch this part here because uh, it's still uh, can have a static electricity and you want to make sure that so there's one part is shorter than the other so you can see here this part is longer than the other part uh, in the picture here slightly longer and you have that dent here so you want to make sure that it's going inside here so you can see if you zoom in here a little bit uh, I'm sorry here you can see in the middle right here right here there's a dent and that's where you're supposed to put it uh, and so it looks like the bottom the bottom uh, part is longer than the top part it's hard to tell uh, let me take out uh, the other RAM and see how it looks like because it's blocking it right so all you need is you push this out to take it out push this out and on new motherboard you don't need to push the other side out you can just push one side out and uh, it will you just pull it out like this so it just came out like this so it came out like this so it looks like the longer part is on the top and the shorter part is on the bottom uh, yeah so you're gonna have to face this if 
if you doing like this you should face this way instead okay so let's do the longer part on top and a shorter part on the bottom and stick it in right here so this cable is so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this up right here as you can see and then uh, I'm gonna face make sure that the long side is uh, inserting correctly in here and the bottom part you don't need to push it and then uh, you just make sure it goes into that hole right here there's a hole that you can see like that so push the bottom part right here uh, push the bottom part so it's actually uh, in like way in you can see here actually way in here oops so you can see right here uh, the bottom part you just push it in hard and the, the top you're gonna push it to make sure you don't break the motherboard and then you can hear click here you can see this came back in and uh, that's how it went in okay so we're gonna do that for uh, the other one here too so I'm gonna take out so it's easier for me to uh, do to do one by one instead of having uh, so to do it sequentially here so this the this is the longer part it's gonna face up and right here so you need to put it um, let's see you need to put it actually uh, you need to alternate the RAM because if you don't alternate the RAM then it's not using the dual channel so it's gonna not gonna make your computer faster and this is how you do you go about it so you alternate between Corsair that's a new RAM and my old RAM and then the other RAM and then this RAM again that's how you get uh, the dual channel which makes your computer way faster uh, so it's gonna read from the the RAM uh, like it's working together instead of working separately okay so I'm gonna push the bottom here really important because the new motherboard doesn't have a clip on the bottom it only has a clip on the top here so just okay so I don't think the bottom is inset, inset yet I need to use two hands here. Push the bottom. Push the top. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this one again. Okay. So make sure that this part longer is facing top. Is at the top right here. So I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna push in uh, to the bottom first right here. It's hard to tell here. So, okay, then push the bottom right here, so it's inserted, and then the top will come. Okay, and you can hear a click. Make sure you push it, and then the RAM is uh, fully inserted. And so the last RAM here, so the top part is right here. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna push the bottom. So push the bottom so it goes inside that socket. And then this one is okay, hold on. So the bottom is not inserted yet. Okay. fully in so one thing if you want to make sure that it's fully in you're not gonna have any uh, when you start your computer you're not gonna have any sound because of uh, you know incorrect insertion and also uh, you're gonna see 
how much RAM you have if it's uh, showing up correctly. So let's just power on right here. We're gonna see here in a moment that uh, the G school, if it's fully inserted, and oh, this light is not powering on, so it's not recognizing this. So I'm gonna shut it down first. And uh, let's let's just shut it down first, and then uh, reinsert that. Okay, so I didn't fully insert this. So what I'm gonna do is um, gonna push this off again. Make sure the RAM is fully inserted on the bottom. And then I'm gonna insert it again. Okay. Make sure everything is inserted correctly. So it doesn't uh, come out. Okay, so let's restart it again to see if uh, the light is showing up. Uh oh, it looks like um, uh oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, this time so the RGB uh, light here is uh, lighting up, so it should be inserted correctly, and also. We don't know about the new Corsair here that I just inserted, so we're just gonna have to see uh, in the profile uh, what is showing up on the screen right now. So it's uh, booting up right now. So it just boot up, so we're gonna see how much RAM I got in here. Uh, I'm gonna go here, do a task manager. Oops. You're gonna go performance here. So what you did is uh, you go right click here, you go to task manager, then you it's showing this screen. Uh, what you do is you go back and you can see 48 gig here, and so 55 gig committed. So available 44 gig plus uh, 3.8, so that's like 47.8 almost 48 gig and you can see right here the memory is 48 gig now and uh, actually the speed is so one of my speed is 3000 uh, up to 3000 so I chose the one that has the minimum speed my new RAM has a maximum speed of 2666 megahertz so uh, right now it's in use like at idle nothing open uh, it has 3.8 gig in use, 44 gig available, and uh, committed, cached. So committed, 54. Is, uh, committed here is, by definition, I Google it. Committed memory is the amount of virtual memory reserved for a process, and it appears Windows 10 is more greedy with committed memory than previous versions of Windows. The amount of virtual memory available is the sum of physical memory, which I had like here, 47.9 gig, and the page file size. So my page file size is probably uh, about 10 gig. So uh, that's how, I think it's about, let's see, three, uh, seven more gigs. And so that's how it came out to committed. Uh, so that's the sum of physical and uh, uh, page file page file size and so that's how you upgrade your memory uh, to be faster because when you open like really big applications like video editing you will want to have a lot of memory so right now uh, I already fully used all four slots here so if I were to upgrade I will need to um, remove the 8 gig 8 gig so to replace it by 16 gigs for each and I'll get I'll have uh, maximum memory limited on my motherboard is 64 gigs okay so if you guys uh, find this useful and it's gonna um, I'm gonna launch something for you Premiere Pro here so you're gonna see the RAM going up here and I'm gonna launch uh, After Effects as well for video editing and you're gonna see that it's going up 
and if I import footage in it, uh, this can go up pretty high to 16 gig, 32 gigs, and so on. That's why I upgraded my uh, memory here to 40, uh, 47.9 gig. Okay, so um, if you guys find this useful, please give a thumbs up and like my channel, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.